Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is AlittleDell22 and today I'm coming at you guys with another speed build. The plan for today is to do a um, abstract modern tiny home. Now this is the biggest out of all the tiny homes. So this is the 100 tile um, mini home and our uh, tiny home, sorry. And uh, the specs of the house consists of technically just one bedroom and one bathroom and i say technically one bedroom because there are two bunk beds in there which means you can have four sims in this house they're all going to share one bathroom so it's going to be a little like cramped but it's it's functional so here i am doing the layout of the house uh i am adding the second floor um so that makes it another challenge in itself to having a second floor because stairways waste room as most uh, veteran sim players know so this was another challenge added on i felt like adding a second floor would be cool and i actually this build ends up being having a loft so that was another cool thing to do i've done a build with a loft before and i really really liked the way it looked so i was really excited to kind of do it again in a different style so here's the main outline of the house on the first floor uh, you could see on the left it's a um that's where the bathroom is going to be um here i am doing raising it up and i'm adding a little porch this house does have porches which i know takes away from the tiles so that was i lost some room there but i liked the way it overall looked at the end with the porches so i don't regret it whatsoever um here I'm changing the style of the steps because I, I came across the white ones. I was like, oh, that kind of gives more, more of a modern vibe because once again, I'm going for a modern abstract vibe. I added these columns and recently I've been like strangely addicted to these. I keep placing them everywhere in all my builds. I don't think it really matches the theme, but it ends up working out because originally I had planned on doing a balcony, but then I remembered that I play Sims with the seasons expansion pack and i know during the winter time your sims do not want to be outside unless you're playing in the snow right so i ended up scratching the idea of the balcony as you'll see soon i'm here i'm here i'm placing it and i ended up having to do a glitch because it says that i was over tiles so i had to place an extra railing somewhere else and then move it so that it would complete the railing without it counting as a, a room technically so here I am doing that and then I move it and then boom, it doesn't count it as a room. So I'm still at a hundred tiles, no more, no less. Here I'm doing the roofing and um, I, I, with this build, I struggled so much with the roofing. I kind of wanted to do like an oddly shaped roof at one point, but then I realized it probably wouldn't work out because I have such a weirdly laid out floor plan. So here I'm adding the roof for the balcony, and then this is when it hit me. I was like, okay, that doesn't really suit the modern vibe. So I delete it and scrap the idea, plus of the seasons. So I add a wall right up here, and then I break the, the ceiling and I there so it makes it a loft. I change the room across there to be a, uh, the wall across there to be a, um, a fence post, as you saw. So it ends up being a loft that overlooks from the bedroom to the living room. I think it looks really nice like that. So it, I still don't exceed any of the tile limit and you still, it gives the modern kind of vibe. Here I'm trying to find windows that would suit the look. And I did a house with the same house I did with a loft had those windows. So I was like, okay, maybe I should change it up because I don't want to be too repetitive. So I ended up deleting them and switching it for another type of window, which you'll see soon. I'll, I'll let you experience. Shocker, I use the ones that are at the bottom, but I start testing through all the other windows and I like the circle one, like I really wanted to use it. I was like, oh, this is perfect for the abstract vibe. But then I realized I would have to put that same circle window everywhere because there's no like co-window that's kind of the same of that of that one. So I, I just decided like, okay, no, we'll do the other one. And then I wanted to change the color of the window because once again, it's not only modern, but it's abstract. So I added orange windows because I feel like orange is very much like an abstracty color. <laughs> I feel like it's not an abstract, abstract piece of art if there's not like a touch of orange in there. I know that's probably false, but I that was a little bit of a joke there. <laughs> Um, here I add the pillars there to make it align with the fencing of the loft area and I struggled to find what my front I wanted my front door to look like um, 
I ended up selecting that one because it suited the like the kind of lines of the window. And then for the roof, I wanted to go really abstract here. So I added a hexagonal see-through glass roof, and then I added a bright orange trim, a bright thick orange trim around it. So, um, yeah, and then I wanted to do uh, like a more basic siding, which I know goes against the abstract part of it, but I felt like I didn't want it, anything to really clash against the orange and what the roof is going to look like, because I feel like the roof is like the star in this in this build for sure. And then here I didn't make it a see-through roof because that's the roof above the bathroom and I don't think you want birds just sitting on the roof and like looking down at you as you're going poo or I guess your sims. And then here I am adding, adding the main roof and then boom there's the kicker with the thick yeah it looks nice okay that looks I think it looks really cool. I, when I did that I was like oh my gosh that's such a cool concept to do. But the problem is <laughs> it was hard for me to make a roof that would like match see because it I had to do that and I made it cross but then look it overlaps and it just looks so bad so I was like okay I'm gonna have to figure a way for it to this to work and it took forever it probably took like 20 minutes in total for me to just do the roof I was getting so frustrated with it and I ended up just kind of I even tried oh yeah did you see what I tried to do there I tried to just place like the um the template of the hexagonal roof just based on the top on the flat thing but it wouldn't let me do that it had to be placed on like one of the roof that you placed so and then I tried to do something cool with that but it just looked odd because yeah it just looked so weird I was like okay I can't do that um so I ended up just trying to flatten down those side roofs like that as much as possible and they overlap which you'll see in a bit when I add the the um the, I, I don't know what to call it the texture is it the texture they overlap when you add the texture in the rim, so it just, uh, but it, I don't, I still don't like that part, but like I overlook it. I choose to overlook it because I, it frustrated me so much. So moving on, I start putting the doors in the house, which there's only one door in the inside of this house and that's the bathroom door to be honest. And um, now I'm putting the lights in here so I'm able to actually see what I'm doing. There's the back door to where the back porch is. And um, now I'm trying to figure out what windows I want in the kitchen area, which is this little nook there is where the kitchen is. And I like these windows. However, look what happens when I place a counter there. There's me trying to figure out what color I wanted. Boom! It intersects with the window frame. And I didn't... Uh, it just... Uh, once I noticed that, I had, I just had to change what windows I was using. So after I placed the counters, and look at me struggle with the island counters. I think it looks a little odd the way I have it there, like how it juts out, but it is what it is. There's only so much you could do in The Sims, really. So I changed the window and um, I added a cute little fridge, which apparently is the most, like one of the most expensive fridges, I didn't realize. And I came across this window, which I really like. It's from um, the Get Famous. I didn't realize it would match the, the windows that I used before. So it looked really nice because it didn't intersect with the counter. And when you looked at it from the outside, it had that thick white block on the outside. Which, I mean, I feel like suited the modern vibe. So here's me looking for the floor, and I ended up going for a concrete floor because I felt like that would, that goes under the category of modern houses and lofts. I feel like I was kind of envisioning kind of like a New York loft, how they like it's concrete and industrial, but then I also wanted it to be modern. I had like a huge vision for it, and it didn't come out how I envisioned it, but it was still, I was still happy about it. Overall, this isn't like a house that I really, really love, but when I uploaded it into gallery, I got like 12 downloads on it, like within an hour. So I guess a lot of people liked it. And this is a good plugin. If you guys are interested in any of my builds, you can look me up on the gallery on The Sims 4 at The Little Dove, not A Little Dove, The Little Dove 22, and you could look through all my builds. I, it still showcases some of my older builds so you could see how, how much I've improved from then to now and then maybe in a year from now you'll even see how much I've improved from then. For some reason I put a fireplace in this build which is one of my biggest regrets in hindsight for this house. I feel like I could have literally had built like a half bath up there which would have made the like which would have made the house big, better like in terms of 
four people sharing a bit like a bad bathroom that would have like made it so much easier or I could have made it like a mini study area where I have a bunch of desks I already included like a bunch of desks um up there in the finished build but I feel like it would have been more adequately placed there like it would have made more sense with the floor plan so here's me putting the furniture in the living room i this is where i really went abstract with all the colors and i don't like the fact that i placed that orangish uh tapestry next to the red bookshelf because it's the same color kind of kind of oh my god tongue twister it was the same kind of color scheme and i just didn't like the fact that it was like right next to each other it would have been fine if i placed it like right where i put that light on the wall but i didn't so that's the first time I've actually used that rug, that like circular rug with the different colors. So that was nice to finally use that for once. So, and then I caught an idea of changing the counter colors, but then I realized the countertops change the shade. So then I was like, oh no, I can't do that. That will like annoy the crap out of me. So I ended up switching it back to be more consistent. Uh, here I am trying to fit a plant under the, um, the staircase because I, I just felt it just felt very very empty and I just wanted something to fill there um and then now I think I'm about to get started oh no I'm trying to figure out the wallpaper okay so I ideally would have gone with something bright and colorful and then I saw this gray colored thing and I think that I was like okay that's perfect that's just a bunch of random shapes which is perfect for abstract but I ended up dullifying the color so that the colors in the living room would be more prominent and then I was going to go for a plain white bathroom, but then I saw that you could change the tub color to like, or not the tub color, but like the tiling around the tub to blue. And then I saw the sink comes in pink and green. I was like, okay, I have to continue the abstract look here. And so then I started decorating with a lot of mis miscellaneous items in the bathroom, adding just splunks of color here and there. And I ended up liking how it looked. <laughs> it was very colorful and cute, which is not usually what I do for bathrooms. Usually I just keep it like the same color scheme, which usually it's just blue because that's like the most, that's, there's a lot of blue in the Sims, to be honest. Okay, now on the second floor for the loft. So I brought the same uh, wallpaper from the living room up to the where the loft area was, the look over, just because I felt like that was consistent. But I didn't bring it after to where the bedroom or beds are going to be because I was going to do a different color there, which you'll see later. So this is where I added the bunk beds. This was one to save room and two because I decided that like a lot, it would be fun to have. Because I don't think people play one or two people sims. I feel like a lot of people just plop a whole family so I ended up just putting bunk beds, which isn't really functional in terms of like if it was a family, a parent, it, the parents aren't just going to have like bunk beds. But I feel like this would be a cool house to download in the um, Discover University because it could be like a cool like artsy frat house or I don't know. <laughs> I'm already thinking about like the storyline behind this house. It's crazy what things like you think of while you're doing The Sims. Um, the layout ends up changing from what you see right now for the like, the top of where things are arranged because I didn't know if the chair was functional for that desk right there and I ended up moving them next to each other but then I was like yeah no and I moved the bed there and and then I moved yeah see I moved everything around this is where I'm gonna see look at where the fireplace was there was so much room there I could have literally added a desk with a computer there or something else in place of that or even put one of the bunk beds there so it be more roomy or put a like a half bath there I feel like there's so much more so I ended up doing I think it was like a light blue or like pale blue wallpaper there or I might be white I just wanted to once again the color to more mostly pop out in the furniture and then I struggled to figure out what rug I wanted here because I didn't want to take one specific color from the beds or anything like that because I felt like that would just draw your eye to those two things too much. So I tried to find a color that wasn't the same shade um, as anything that was already in the room. And then I'm working on the roof again for that and <laughs> I, I had another frustrating bout with it where they intersect and then I end up changing um, one of them. I think I changed the one above the kitchen to be um, the same paneling above the where the bathroom is. So yeah, because I didn't like how it intersected. So yeah, I did change it. So it didn't look bad as in, like when it intersected. Now I'm doing the pathway and I found the perfect pathway for this house. It was like an orange pebble. Yeah, that one. And it was perfect because it matched the um, orange in the windows in the doors. 
And then here I'm putting fencing, some orange uh, landscape boxes for flowers. And, and looking back, I feel like I, oh, watch this. Wait, wait for it. Why? I don't know why. Okay, every time I have a mailbox, for whatever reason, I just spam it around in a circle for no reason because there's only one of two directions that it could face. It could face sideways or face towards the street, right? And I don't know why I always just spam it. Every time I try to place a mailbox, I just spam it in a circle. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I feel like this house would have looked good in the, um, the sand um, world. I forgot what it's called. Soul Valley, I think that's the one. I don't remember the name, but I feel like it would have looked nice there because of the plant and the fact that it was orange. I feel like it would have looked really nice there. So as I'm finishing this landscaping, it's all coming together. And um, I added some seating outside and then I added a bicycle. I think it's just because, like I said, I feel like this would look cute on Discover University too. And that's it. So I just hope you enjoyed this and please go check out my gallery. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.